All right, that's it. Checking out the most awesome hotel room I've ever been in. Goodbye, Ocean View. I'm gonna go to Softel. Um, that's where the spiral buffet was that I went to last time. And I'm gonna be staying there for three nights and I'm attending the Club Travel Fest. So I'm giving a talk tomorrow. Yeah, kind of hard to say goodbye. All right, gotta go, driver's waiting. I have to grab my suitcase and my mini fridge full of mooncakes. That's coming with me. If you're thinking I'm leaving my mooncakes behind, you're out of your mind. It's like a hurricane here. This is still a pretty nice view. All right, let's take a look around. This is definitely a more dated hotel than uh, the Solaire. It's pretty nice though. Nice shower, bathroom, little window in case you want to watch your friend poop or something. Ooh. Ah, bathroom number two. All right, I think what I'm gonna do now is hit the gym and I wish I brought my swimming stuff. That pool looks awesome. It's so windy. Oh, I was gonna go to the gym, but I, I fell asleep. So I took a nap and I wake up, I'm hearing like water rushing out um, of my bathroom. So I'm thinking like maybe I left the shower on or something. Uh-uh. So I take a step into the bathroom and it is just, there's like, there's like maybe half an inch of water here. What? What is going on? So this is just, oh, uh, this is like a little pool right here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stay in this room. Just a hunch. So they gave me a new room, really nice of them. Ooh, some snack. Uh oh. It's for Mr. Santos. Mr. Santos was gonna get some Madeline cookies and jam. My Madeline's now. <gasps> oh, hot tub. Nice upgrade. This is definitely worth water coming out of your wall for, right? Okay, I, I really do have to go to the gym. I, I feel like such a pig right now. See you in a bit. Just got done filming my second buffet video. I gotta head over to the World Trade Center. My speech begins. This is sort of like a like a speech slash meetup. So I haven't really done something like this in the Philippines ever. Very excited to meet everybody. Next, this is Mark. Uh, hello. Ooh, this is already getting so so humid. All right, we're in the festival now. It's the travel fest. So if you guys don't know, Kroger is a really good travel app. You can like use it around the world to find good stuff to eat. You can get good deals, like get a JR pass in Japan. What's your name? Sammy. Sammy? Nice to meet you. Wait, wait what did you bring me, Sammy? Look at this. I drew it. You drew this for me? <gasps> no way! This is me saying hi to me. <laughs> I have nice eyebrows. I like that. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm just watching. Oh, this is this is this is Abby, and she brought like you. She baked for me, and then she brought socks. Dude, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Oh. Josh, this guy Hi. came up to my first meetup yeah. in the Philippines. Yeah. He skipped yeah. school. To no, <laughs> I was actually half day that day. Half day? Because okay. Fridays are half day in my school. Okay, okay. He didn't skip school. <laughs> He's a good student. <laughs> that was so amazing meeting all the fans here. That was great. Yeah. Well, people are so passionate here. It was, it was just amazing meeting everybody. Like, so thank you guys who came out to, to see me. I'm just gonna walk around and see who else needs wants to take a photo because I know a lot of people uh, still want to take photos, so. We'll do that, and then we're gonna go eat some dinner. Maybe Jolly Bee. I'm thinking. Yes, Jolly yeah. Bee. Yes, Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee's great. So, Mike Chen, I hope you're enjoying my homemade apple crumble. Thanks, Abby. Macy was so sweet. I was talking about Jolly Bee having mango pie, yes. and she brought me some. Yes, yeah, all for you. All for me? Yes. That is not all for me. Are you kidding? Yeah, no. <laughs> Peach mango pie. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's hot, Mike. oh, there's crispy. Oh, you might eat it. It's hot. 
Is there like a Jolly Bee next door? How'd you get it here so hot? There's it's one near here? Yeah, yeah. And they usually it's took it when you order it, so it's really very mm. hot. Everywhere you look. Oh, that's hot and crumbly. Like it's beautiful. Yay. I wish we had this in the US. I wish it was here. I can't <laughs> Happiness. Happiness. In a pie. Thank you so much. Just finished with the meetup, dinner time. I got a bunch of pastries. Thanks for everybody who gave me food. You're amazing. I'm gonna go try it out back in the hotel, but I wanna go. I gotta go get some Jolly Bee. I had some pie, and that got me the Jolly Bee craving going. So, next up, Jolly Bee. Really upset I couldn't get the garlic beef. That was one of my favorite things here, was the garlic beef. I don't understand why it's not served on Sunday because it's the most holy of fast food dishes. I got some of my other favorites, the spicy fried chicken, uh, the burger, the chili fries, which was not on the menu last time, and the cheesy hot dog, which I surprisingly love. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Spicy chili fries. Not too bad. I remember this being awesome. I love the Jolly Bay Burger. Really tender little beef patty. Slightly sweet citrusy mayo. That's a delicious little burger. I remember loving the hot dog. The hot dog. I remember it being like something like that really surprised me how much I liked it. The sauce is amazing. It's much tenderer and less snappy than a regular hot dog. It tastes almost like a cross between a hot dog and a Spam. Actually, I think it tastes more like a Spam than a hot dog. The perfect amount of cheese to bring that creaminess and a bit of ketchup to bring it all back. The slight sweet and sour flavor and the fried chicken. I, I like this little flag that marks it as spicy. And you can see all the chili powder on top of the chicken. Oh my god. Did you see how much chili powder was on top of this thing? Like that was really, really spicy. But I don't know if they made a mistake whether to put that much concentrated of uh, chilies on that part of the chicken or not. But that was a bite that most people wouldn't be able to handle. I mean, for me, it's perfect because the spicier the better. But man, that was a lot of chilies in that one bite. Really juicy meat. This thing didn't just come out of the fryer, so the outer skin is not as crispy as I would have liked. But it is bringing that heat. Mm. Also, you can dip your chicken right in that gravy. That is a thick, hearty, beefy gravy. Kind of cools the heat just a little bit, but amazing flavor on the chicken. You tip your fries in there too. It's like an all-purpose dipping gravy. And you got your rice if you want to eat this. I always forget not to ask for this because I like just eating things on its own. My gravy is awesome. I know I got a bunch of these already, but when I'm ordering stuff, I can't help but order another. That this is something I didn't have last time I was in the Philippines. And I just have one over at the convention. Look how flaky the crust is. And that sweet peach filling just spills right over that. Like a sweet orange lava crawling over the crusted earth. One bite. You feel like you're in a peach orchard. Mm. And the whole world's troubles just melts away with every single crunch. Perfect way to finish off a Jolly Bee meal. Every time I'm in the Philippines, I gotta have a meal with Jolly Bee, without exception. I think this is truly when I feel I'm in the Philippines again after a good Jolly Bee meal. Alright, time to go back to the hotel, hit the gym, do some work, and uh, Big food day tomorrow. Back at the hotel, I just want to open up some of these letters. Thank you for, again, for everyone who came by and brought, brought me something. It's 
Way too nice. I'm Mikey, I'm Justine, a fellow foodie from the Philippines. So happy finally had a chance to meet you during the festival. I'm a huge fan of yours. Been watching your videos for almost two years now. Started watching after my dad told me to check out your videos in Japan, one of my favorite places to visit. Me too. Thank you again for all the content you created for showing the viewers, culture, and food around the world. Well, thank you so much, Justine and Jill. Really appreciate it. And this apple turnover is from Abby. Ooh, ooh. apple turnover. Ooh. Mmm. That's some good stuff, Abby. Mmm, good baker. Mmm. That's so crumbly and nice. Thanks so much, Abby. I got like brownies and cookies from. Walden, Ned, Gadada, and Chris. Thank you guys so much for bringing these. Two different types of cookies. That is a gooey brownie. Mmm. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you so much for making these. For me, brownies, gooier the better. Massive cookies. Oh my God, these are so good. Oh, I love this. Big, chunky chocolate cookies. I'm not sure what's on top. Mmm, I think maybe powdered sugar. This is marvelous. All natural honey barbecue sauce to Mike from Josh. Thank you for the opportunity to meet you again. It's been a year and a half since we last met my family at the Mall of Asia Grounds. I remember that. First time in the Philippines. I've been looking forward to meeting you again. This is such an opportunity because it's my birthday month. Oh, happy birthday, Josh. I'm sending you smoked Wagyu beef brisket and a special homemade barbecue sauce my dad, Papa Jazz. Josh's dad actually made this Papa Jazz. <clears throat> the beef brisket is from Snake River Farms in U.S. Smoked by my dad using customer built smoke over 12 hours using tamarind tree. Whoa. God bless you. Always Mike from your number one fan in the Philippines, Joshua. Thank you so much, Josh. I mean, this is so considerate. I don't have any boiling water with me right now, but I'll find some. I'll try this out. Josh and his entire family. I mean, you guys are just the greatest. Let's see if the hotel can heat this up for me tomorrow. Again, it was so nice meeting everyone tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you for bringing me food and gifts. You guys are just the greatest. I had no, it's just, ah, you know? Ugh, ugh. All right, I'm incredibly jet lagged, so gotta go to the gym, gotta go to bed. Night. Good morning, my last full day here in Manila. I'm going on a local food tour today. It starts up around 11, it's about eight o'clock right now. I gotta try out the hotel buffet. This is the Spiral Breakfast Buffet. I've been to Spiral before, never tried their breakfast buffet. Until now. On my review on Spiral, it is a huge buffet. Breakfast, I mean, basically anything you want, I'm pretty sure they have it. Like anything. And it looks like everything is freshly cooked. It's so much stuff. There's a couple of traditional Filipino dishes, rice dishes I really, really want to try. And then I just, I guess we just go from there. I'm a little just flabbergasted at all oh, this so much. <laughs> Look at this, he's serving us uh, tofu, basically uh, tofu soup. This is cool, so he just walked around serving it. That's great, definitely gonna get some. Gotta start the morning with some garlic rice, pork langanisa. This is very traditional Filipino breakfast stuff. Beef tapa is one of my favorite things. And this is basically fried fish head. It's like a little, little snack. Salted duck egg is amazing over rice. Some stir fried beef covered in pepper. It's high fried rice. Uh, vermicelli noodles. Uh, what kind of soup do you have? Uh, we only have chicken soup for breakfast. Chicken soup, okay. This is a big bowl of soup. Add in my chilies, 
scallions, fried shallots, steamed tofu, tofu soup. This is called a taho here, right? Yeah, taho, taho, right. So it's kind of like a tofu yeah. soup. You put tapioca on top. It's a very popular street food here in the Philippines. Yeah. It's a slightly crunchy fish jerky. Wash it down with some noodle soup. Ah, I love a little chicken soup in the morning. The fish actually goes really good with it. Garlic rice. What a way to wake up in the morning. Oh, the beef tapa is one of my favorite Filipino dishes. It's so hearty. It's got that great beef taste with that nice bite of vinegar and citrus flavor to it. Love this dish. No longer needs up. It's such a uniquely flavored Filipino sausage. Slightly sweet, very smoky. I had this last time in Davao. Absolutely fell in love with it. The duck egg is something that's in both traditional um, Chinese and Filipino cooking. And the egg, after it's salted, it becomes much creamier. And it's really, really salty. So you gotta eat it with some rice. Mm. Salty duck egg with, with that garlic rice. I really do feel like all rice should be garlic rice. It tastes great and it prevents vampire attacks. What's not to love about it? The Tahoe, yeah. I can't wait to try this. This is something I've been actually looking for since I got to the Philippines. People will ride around on bikes with those barrels of tofu soup and the tapioca bubbles. And in the old days, they'll walk around carrying it, like that guy walking around here. This is fun, look at this. You can just pretty much drink this, but I wanna see, I want you guys to see what it's like. Tofu soup with little tapioca bubbles. Mm. This is lovely. It's so light. It's not too sweet. Of course, a little tapioca bubbles. And this thing, this thing is actually pretty filling. Do not be deceived. It will fill you up. So, so I can eat a bunch of food, <laughs> drink, drink the weight loss thing, and it will cancel out basically. I guess he needs to drink like um, more, 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 more. More of this? I mean, oh, this is great. Thank you so much. Yes, it looks sir, beautiful. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Every day we change this. Oh, every day it changes. Yes, sir. Interesting. Enjoy. Mmm, thank you. Oh, it's like a little smoothie. How was it? That's great. Thank you. Mmm, this is so lovely. Apple and cucumber. And it promotes weight loss. I'll need like 10 more of these. For each of that tube thing I drink, I can have a bowl of noodle soup. So good. Ooh, love me some Hainanese chicken. At the meat station, we got a massive cut of leg of ham. Hungarian sausage, sure. If this tastes good, I'll make a trip to Hungary. Massive plate of bacon, we'll skip on that. If you want something lighter in the morning, they have a juice station with pretty much every juice known to man. It's like little eggplant parm. Eggplant, sir. Ah, whoa, Mexican egg? I love this, freshly fried tempura. Round two, we got some Mexican eggs. I don't know what makes this Mexican eggs, but we'll see. Got some mushroom gravy with that. Salmon belly tempura. I'm not sure specifically what makes that Mexican eggs, but they're delicious eggs. I think they put little crunchy tortillas in there. That little really thin eggplant palm thing. That's really good. It's okay. This is so good. Tempura fish, the fried whole little fish. And it's pregnant. It's got all those little nice fish roll inside. The salmon belly looks amazing. Fresh off the grill. Oh, best thing I had today. Not perfectly cooked. A nice char on the bottom, and above that, a nice layer of melty fat and just juicy meat. That goes really good with my Mexican egg. 
if you want some dessert in the morning, I think this is the right place to be. You have some pies, bread, pudding, halo halo. You can have ice cream for breakfast if you want. Crepes, assortment of desserts in a drawer. Coconut pie for breakfast? Heck yeah. And this is Champurado, chocolate sweet rice. Yeah, we gotta try some of this. Let's put a scoop of ice cream on this too. You know, there's not a lot of benefits to being a grown up. You gotta pay bills, you got a lot of responsibilities, you can't just do whatever you want when you wanna do it. But you can have ice cream for breakfast. Nice little yogurty thing with oatmeal and nuts. Ice cream, some pina colada. I'm just saying, when you're like 10 or 11 or 12 living at home, you don't get to eat this for breakfast. No, one of the few benefits. Mmm. Coconut pie. Look at this. Fresh coconut baked into the pie. Kids scream for this stuff. That kid's really upset. She can't have any. Gotta wait till you're older and paying bills. That's when you have some. Oh, that chocolate rice is so good. I don't understand why like things that taste great on its own don't hang out together more often. The rice is awesome. Chocolate is awesome. Chocolate rice. I love just splurging on dessert for breakfast. Mm. To me, this is what I want when I go to breakfast. I don't want restrictions. I don't want people telling me I can only have bacon and eggs and an omelet or something like that. I want to have ice cream, or I want to have a steak, or pizza. If bacon can help get my day started, why couldn't a slice of pepperoni? So if you saw my last episode on this buffet, they have a cheese room where there's a cheese expert inside that can help you pick out like all sorts of cheeses that are delicious. So you can basically try any of these cheese. Little dry nuts. If you want to take it up a notch, you can pick the cheese you want, bring it to either an omelet station or like a pizza station, whatever you want, and just tell them to put the cheese in the omelet, put the cheese in the pizza. Customized pizza and omelet. Mm. Oh, that's a stinky one. Don't anybody talk to me within the next hour. So stinky, so good. This cheese is insane. This is goat cheese with mango. Oh, that is like a cloud. It tastes like, like a cream cheese spread almost. But like, you know, obviously mango flavor. I feel like this on a mango would just be the most insane thing ever. Oh, so light and airy. This thing belongs on a bagel, a New York bagel with goat cheese and mango. I mean, this is a local cheese and that is amazing. That is so good. <laughs> I love that cheese room. What if I can move in? When you're checking into the hotel, you can be like, can I stay in the cheese room? I couldn't eat that much for breakfast today as I'm literally going out for lunch in a full day food tour in a couple hours. So just wanted to come and check out this buffet. I mean, this is a pretty amazing breakfast buffet. All right, gotta go guys. See you later.